Today I wanted to highlight a couple of applications because I think they do a good job in showing why Kirigami is so cool and if you don't know what Kirigami is don't worry I'll talk about it. So first one I discovered through this post but also through other messages and it's a task application and it's a pretty easy one. There is a video but I'm going to talk about it using it and uh, it's uh, a, an application to manage to do but um, it's as easy as it can get. And the second one is this one, which is Coast, which is from one month ago, roughly. And it's actually an application just to see OpenStreetMap. And right now it only performs two actions, which is to search and to move around with the mouse. So two really simple applications. Uh, let me quickly show you how they work. So as an example, do this video is a task and it will be added here. And by the way, I'm using both of these in GNOME right now. So it's using the GNOME style, but of course it's going to look prettier if you're using Breeze, which you should be. And uh, I do think, however, that it's very nice that they work out of the box and they do look decent in my opinion, also in GNOME. Like this one, if it wasn't for this bigger button compared to the text, would feel almost perfect on GNOME. But also let's add another task, which is subscribe to this channel. And since I'm 100% sure that you've just done it, we can check this out and it will be removed. And then when we are done, we can clear task and everything goes away. We can also click on the invisible for some reason in GNOME uh, about task uh, tasks uh, button to know a bit more about it. And then there is cost. Let's go with, as an example, I don't know, New York. Again, text is broken because I'm in GNOME, but you know, this kind of things. So, okay, actually New York for some reason doesn't work, but if I search for another city like Milan, it works. So I don't know, Padova, and we switched there and you can zoom in obviously, but also zoom out. It's slightly slow in loading, but that's because my Wi-Fi is horrible and you can go around with it. You can zoom out and then zoom in somewhere else and uh, it works, I mean, it's a map application that allows you to search and uh, go around in the globe with drag and drop. And it even works with touch screen and you can zoom using two fingers, which is pretty cool. So why do I think these two are worth talking about, even though they are very simple? Maybe you won't have a use case for them, maybe you do have, but it's simple and the most important thing about these applications is that this one for sure, and I think also probably this one, uh, although I followed the development a bit less, this one is done in a week or even less probably, which is impressive because yes, it is a simple application that only allows to do these kind of things and then does this and then does this, but to do this in one week is still rather impressive. And this one was also done super quickly. So what really helps in this case is using a framework with all of the UI components already that you can just use out of the box. In this case, it's Kurigami and it is done by KDE. And lots of KDE applications use Kurigami nowadays. As an example, system settings use part of Kurigami, but also Discover is completely Kurigami and so on. And this allows applications to be convergent, which means that they can also run pretty seamlessly on uh, phones or tablets and they are very touch screen capable. So as shown before, I can actually move around in the map just using fingers. They are responsive. Yep. And of course, open source, but we knew that. So what's the idea behind this? So what does this actually do? Now, this is for developers, but I do think that it's good to get a general idea of how this works under the hood and to be able to recognize this in applications. So this is the developer API for Kirigami and this is the very nice tutorial that's been recently updated on how to use Kirigami. So it's about setting up, but let's take pages as an example. So what we have in here is an application. This is still the old style. Now it looks a bit better in my opinion. 
Uh, as an example, you could have an application that then ops and opens up a sub page and then opens up a third sub page. And here, as an example, it's done when you click on about task, this opens a page. And this is managed through Kurigami. So the tasks application doesn't actually have to implement its own paging method because it's built in, in Kurigami. Also, the info page, I think, is another Kurigami component, which makes it even easier to implement. And it's all managed here, so you can also do things like actually pinning one page, so when you create new ones, the, the one on the left still is being shown. And this is done just by saying, okay, I want a Kurigami web page. And then, of course, inside of it, you just put whatever. It could be labels. In this case, is it could be buttons. So applications like this one don't need their own like text editor inside to search for a city, but they don't also need buttons because all of that is provided through Kirigami. And Kirigami does a lot of things. Uh, We've seen pages, this is layouts, cards, and layout is making sure that all of the things are in the correct uh, position inside of your page. And cards are the components that look like this. And you might recognize them because, well, they are almost everywhere at this point. Like in Discover, all of the, pa uh, the apps, sorry, are displayed uh, through cards. So I would suggest you actually, in theory, it's only for developers, but again, I do think it's nice for users to get an understanding very roughly of how things work, to try out the Kurigami Gallery, which is not an application to see photos. It's just an application to showcase how Kurigami works. So you've got this home screen with all of the components by category, and you can just go through all of them and see actually how they behave. So you've got as an example, cards, but there there are actually many ways to see cards, uh, list view, grid view, but even then there are also different types of card where the image might take more or less space and so on. And if you go through all of the Kurigami gallery, you will see that many components, you will recognize them from other applications like the one I mentioned, but also the new system monitor in KDE uses you can see it here, Kurigami. It's done in Kurigami. And these that you see here are, again, cards. So just by looking at the Kurigami gallery, you can actually understand how apps are made. And having Kurigami allows developers to make apps like this, but many others much, much easily and quickly. And also the result supports better, like, other desktops and mobile phones or tablets or touch screens as an example. So it's very nice that we have Kurigami at all. Another thing that I'm very happy to have is Patreons, which actually allow me to do videos like this. If you hadn't Kurigami, you couldn't do apps like you've just seen. And if I hadn't Patreons, I couldn't do videos like the one you just saw. So you can actually help me out because I'm doing this on my free time. And that means that I should be able to have enough money to eat and stuff like that. So if you want to contribute a bit, uh, you have links on my uh, right, your left now and you can go through them and you can contribute if you want to but also just if you are not able to a like or a subscribe is fine and uh, i hope you like the video see you tomorrow because i upload basically every day